So we've come for a drive out to um, this little place called Fig Tree Cave. We've got the whole crew with us. We're going to go and have a bit of a look and see what everyone raves about. But yeah, it's a bit of a trek out here. Nice drive, but something to do when the wind's up at Exmouth. So yeah, follow us. We'll take you in the hole and see what it's all about. All right, so we're going to climb down this, uh, this little cave. Hopefully we don't uh, do any ankles or anything because I didn't bring my shoes. I've just got thongs on as usual. But, uh, we'll see. Look at mate. Pretty cool. Here you go. Yeah, boy. Keen as. She's um. Looks sick. Worth the drive. Go, Macca. I'm not real good with heights either. Is it high? Yeah, five meters. I don't like heights. Um, yeah. This is sketchy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Are you going to be able to get the camera? Just put it on your wrist. Man, this is sketchy shit. I don't even know if I want to go down, eh? The fig tree, fig tree cave. I um, got halfway down and then the old thong started to, uh, feet started to get a bit clammy and uh, the thong started to get a bit slippery. So I uh, piked out, came back up and um, probably a good move because yeah, you're only gonna hurt yourself going down there with thongs. So if you are gonna come out here, bring some proper shoes and um, just so you don't get hurt. So. No shame we're not going down, plus I'm scared of heights, so scared of heights equals sweaty feet equals slippery thongs, not going to happen. So uh, the boys went down, we'll chuck some footage up and yeah they reckon it's pretty spectacular, but next time I'll bring some proper shoes. Dad would love this look, little information thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will. Had a photo in. Start reading it, but it's kind of important. A couple pages. <laughs> hey, Jackson, imagine you just say. <laughs> what would you do? Would you just sit there? Yeah. <laughs> well, Mac is up. Up, 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 and away.
guys. Well, it's a windy day in Exmouth. We're going to uh, do something different. We're going to go for a drive to Coral Bay via Yardy Creek. So we're going to shoot around the other side. High tide's about 10.30, so it's, um, it's about 7.30 now. Hopefully we get there and we can pass the creek. Hopefully it's not too full. So, uh, yeah, take you guys along for the ride and it should be a good day. Go to Coral Bay for lunch and uh, head back around the highway. So, yeah. to uh, drop your tire, tire pressure, we're down to uh, about 25 pound all around. But yeah, she's a um, pretty corrugated road. A lot more corrugated than what I thought. So, come down here, let your tires down. Bring the bandy. So about 35 minutes here we've done 20 k's. This is from Yardy Creek, so um, averaging about 40 k's an hour I suppose. But yeah, not, not a bad track. A few cars on the road, but plenty of, plenty of room to pull over. Um, yeah, you basically just hug the coast. You, you basically drive along the side, I'll give you a bit of a look there. Yeah, so first little um little major campground we've come across is Windy Bandy Point. Looks packed. So I'm gonna go and have a bit of a look and show you guys around. So that was Windy Bandy Point, what a sick spot. It was um it was pretty busy but it still had um quite a few camp campsites available. Um speaking to the uh to the caretaker caretaker kind of guy he um reckons the wind's been pretty good but today um today she's picked up but yeah i reckon it'll be a good spot might have to uh put that on our bucket list spend a week out here or so be uh yeah it'd be paradise So next little next little camp spot is uh, North Lafroy Bay. Another, another beautiful little spot. It's yes, pretty cool. You basically just camp right on the beach. So there's another campsite here. Just look as busy. Heaps of spots available, but. Now you've got the water basically right there, so 50 metres from the beach. Beautiful spot. The next bay on the way is South Lafroy Bay. The other one was North Lafroy, this one's South Lafroy. Boys, um, just saw a dingo back there. Looked like it was missing half its fur. Yeah. We didn't have a chance to see it, but um, sort of down to the side, down to the side street there, or side uh, side track. Yeah, you never know what you see out here. I think we're just coming to the um, last leg of it, of the track at the moment. We're just 
had a sign that said highway, so I guess that's us. So uh, we chuck a lefty and uh, head in the Coral Bay. track we're looking for is um, the Coral Bay track so there's an option to go out the highway or follow the dunes in the Coral Bay so we're going to take the dunes in the Coral Bay and apparently it's about six kilometers up this road it is on the Hema maps but it's um, I don't know for some reason it's not real detailed but you can see a track there I assume that's the one but we're going to uh, we're going to give it a go we'll let you know if it is the correct one on the um, on the map just come to the turn off to the track behind the dunes 53 k's from Coral Bay so so far to do 53 k's from Yardy Creek it's taken us an hour and 54 minutes so I would say probably another hour and a half till we get to Coral Bay depending on the track but uh, yeah it's all signposted so if you're coming from uh, Yardy, uh, Yardy Creek, you're not going to get lost. Just follow your nose, follow the uh, signs, and then, yeah, you'll be right. So, Jacko's going to um, have a go at this little hill at the back of Coral Bay. Looks pretty cool. He's keen, so we'll uh, see how he goes. steeper than what I thought. But, uh, yeah, she's a long way up. It did well. One thing that's pretty cool this time of year, which you haven't seen, probably due to the rain that they've had up here, is all these purple flowers, these purple, purple weedy flowery things. They are everywhere. Adds a bit of colour to already a beautiful landscape. It's a pretty long trek. So far, a bit of an update. We've done 68 k's from Yardy Creek. It's taken us two and a half hours. So it is slow going, but the track's pretty good. Some high speed stuff, some low speed stuff, some rocks, bit of sand, heap of corrugations. But so far, yeah, it's been a good trip, been a good good way to spend the day. Of a recap on our trip out to our uh, Coral Bay from from Exmouth. We um, we did 112 k's and uh, took four hours and 45 minutes. So if you knocked off like probably 15, 20 minutes for our stopping and um, and um, checking out all the little bays and that sort of stuff, then you know about four and a half hours. I reckon you do it in pretty comfortably. It's still a hike, like it's a good drive. But uh, well worth doing. If you if you go to Exmouth and you want to blow a day, head over to um, Tannabitty and um, yeah, cruise down to uh, cruise down to Coral Bay. We could drive, heaps of cool scenery, and um, yeah. But allow yourself allow yourself a day. You know, four and a half hours. Get down, have lunch, and by the time you head back to Exmouth, yeah, it's the best part of a day. So, but well worth it. Get down there if you haven't done it. It's a wicked track, and uh, yeah. We'll see you next time.